Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to a NIFScope tutorial. This is going to be covering how to just set up the basics of NIFScope to work with Skyrim modding. Okay, so the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is obviously get NIFScope installed, which is really, really simple. Head over to GitHub, the link will be in the description down below, and you want to go ahead and download the latest version. So at the time of this video, that is pre-alpha 6, and you're going to want this version or above if you plan on doing any work to Skyrim Special Edition measures. So I'm going to go down to the download section, grab myself the latest version, just let Chrome download that. Show that in folder. And I'm just going to extract it with 7-zip. You can use whatever program you wish. And I am going to just rename it so it's nice and clean and tidy. So 2.0. And this isn't a traditional install with an install or anything. You pretty much just drag and drop this wherever you like. So personal preference with me, I'll just use my shortcut to my data folder and back up to my directory. I'll have to go to my main directory and I have a tools folder here for all the tools that I use. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in there. So I'm going to open up NIFScope for the first time. Although for me it's not really the first time and you'll see. Uh, it will look a little bit different to how yours will. You can arrange it all however you wish. And what you want to do is first of all just go and drop a mesh in. So I can show you what happens the first time. So when you initially drop a mesh in, you'll see that it's all white and you can't see the textures. And this is because you need to take a few more steps just to get this set up to work with Skyrim. So what I'm going to do is go under the options and settings and go under resources. Now this is laid out a little bit different with the settings with previous versions. So if you want all this to match up, then yeah, get the latest version. Uh, but you've got paths and archives. So in paths, you want to go ahead and add folder. And I'm going to go ahead and point to my Skyrim main directory. So again, I'm using the shortcut I have on my desktop. And it's going straight to Skyrim data. You can do this for special edition if you want to point at special edition. But really, it doesn't make any difference because the directories are set up pretty much the same for putting textures in anyway. So I always go with Skyrim, the normal one. And there we go. So I've got data and hit select folder. So it's going to my Steam library, Steam apps, comments, Skyrim data. That's where I've got Skyrim installed. It'll be slightly different for you. And I'm just going to hit apply. Then I'm going under archives. And what I want to do is make sure that it can actually read textures from BSAs. So if I'm making changes to a mesh that's sort of BSA related or anything like that, and the textures are packaged up in a BSA, it's going to be able to pull them from that BSA and read them. Now, if you do want to make some changes to vanilla meshes, you're going to have to go ahead and unpack the BSAs for Skyrim and such. And you can do that using the video that's on screen now at the top hand, top right hand, sorry, of the screen. Go ahead, check that out. That shows you how to pack and unpack BSA files for Skyrim. So here we're just going to state the archives for the textures. So add archives. It's already directed to the data folder, which is where we want to be. And you're going to want to select anything that's going to have textures in it. So I've got the high res texture packs here. And I'm just going to open those up. You've also got textures actually. Select that one. And you can see even when I click paths, it automatically changes in the background. We can see the textures. So I'm just going to hit apply on this as well. So anything in BSA is it's going to read that. So there we go. That's all set up nicely. And of course, in settings, you have other things you can do. So you'll notice that my background will be different to yours, most likely in color. You can go under render. You can change all sort of options, how much details on the meshes and such. You can go under color. And I like to just change up my background a bit. So change the color. That's a bit bright, which is really nice. And that's how you get it set up to work with Skyrim. So then you just make your changes to the mesh. You can obviously edit the UV, do all sorts of nice stuff. And now when you go to change the textures, you'll see that it sets it to textures. That's why we also had to point to the data folder. So when you do this, it doesn't have a load of junk like users and stuff. And this will make sure that when other people use this mesh and they download your mod, it's pointing to the right place. So there we go. Done. That is how you set it up. So we can go ahead and just save as and you can dump things into your meshes folder. And Skyrim will read them. 
And that is it for this Nifscope tutorial. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section below. And also just let me know of any other Nifscope tutorials that you might want to see. It really depends obviously if I know how to do that stuff. As I'm no expert myself. But I thought I'd make this video as it just sort of gets the basic setup out of the way. Which is what a lot of people sort of forget to cover. Also be sure to go ahead and check out the rest of my work over on my website at www.docfox127.co.uk and also check me out on all the social media, all the links are down below. You can of course follow the Steam group if you want instant notifications as to when I go live on Twitch and stuff like that. And also feel free to come along and join our Discord, we've got a great community of over 100 members. You can come along, talk about Skyrim, gaming in general and also get help with mods or even share your creations. So hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.